we move to the last question of the part one. In this question, we have to interpret key features of quadratic functions. Here we have been given a quadratic function and we need to find its key features. I will start with the vertex because vertex is one of the most important values to find the standard form or to understand and interpret a quadratic function. Now x value of the vertex is given as minus b by 2a. The formula is this. We need to remember it. The b value over here is 2. So minus is in the formula. 2 times what is a value? It's 1 and this is the answer. So now here we will get minus 1. Now if you want to find the y value, all you do is substitute over here instead of x as y. So now y is equal to the given equation x squared plus 2x minus 5, isn't it? If you substitute the vertex x value, minus 1 squared plus 2 times minus 1 minus 5, instead of x you substitute this, it will be minus 2 minus 5 that will be minus 7 plus 1 is minus 6 here that is the vertex y axis so h and k is equal to minus 1 and minus 6 so this is a very important thing what is the standard form of a parabola it's given as y is equal to a into x minus h the whole square plus k so now in the standard form you can easily see which is h and which is k and find the correct answer. Now, instead of doing completing the squared method, you can directly only find the vertex if needed. Now, I will tell you how to find the standard form directly from this equation because you have the options over here. But before that, there is maximum and minimum, right? It is very simple. Look at the quadratic function. Here you can see it is plus, isn't it? If it is plus, then it opens upwards and you will have a minimum point. So here, this is minimum point. Whereas if it was, say, y is equal to minus 2x squared and something like this, it would have a maximum point because it will open downwards. Now, let's look into the options. And over here, you can easily test this. How can you test this is? If you put this in the calculator and test for a certain x value, this and this should match. I will do for one problem here. I have typed this given equation as it is. Now calculate this at say 1.5. I'm getting 1 fourth. Now I've put all the four options. If it is in the standard form, just put this options over here. All you need to do is type it out as it is. Squared minus 6. And calculate it the same value. You must have the same answer. Only one particular option will match and that is your correct answer. So that is the thing. But if it was, if this is not given to you, if it was just the vertex, then you have the vertex. We just now did it. It's minus one and minus six. And what is, what is this? It's positive. So it'll have a minimum point. So these are the three important features over here. Same way you can do the same thing. Over here, you can easily tell this is having minimum point looking at it. And you can easily test which is the standard form by checking for the x value and then the vertex can be found out by the formulas. Please do this by yourselves. It's the same method, same formula. Over here, see the formula is there and over here we are done. The same thing and the standard form is repeated over here. Please try them by yourselves and then check the answers over here. Now, here if you're doing completing the square method, you will directly get the uh, answer for the standard form but this is a lengthy method and students tend to go wrong at times so since you have the options for this question easily choose the correct answer from the options same thing here and now we will see some real world problems the height of a firework at an amusement park celebration can be modeled by a quadratic function suppose the firework is launched from a platform two feet off the ground at a velocity of 96 feet per second Use h of t equals this given equation where g is equal to 32 feet per second square. Because everything is in feet, we have to use the acceleration due to gravity as well in feet per second square. Now let's see what is known. g is known. What is v? Velocity is given. This is v. And the height h naught, initial height is 2 feet. So your equation will be h of t equals minus half into 96 sorry 32 into 32 that is g value 
t square plus 96 t plus 2. This is the equation. You can put this directly in calculator. It's fine. Now write the function to represent the situation. Uh, that's what we did over here. Rewrite the function in the vertex form. Now since you will have options, you can easily check which is the correct one by putting in the calculator, just like what we did for the previous questions. And find the axis of symmetry and the vertex and interpret the meaning. Now here, you can easily find the vertex by the formula b is b minus b by 2a. It is minus b value is 96 divided by 2 times. What is a value? It is 1 times 16 here and minus. Don't forget minus. So I'll just write it out over here. It's minus 16 times minus 16. Now how do you solve this? 16 5 times is 80. 16 1 times 16 6 times and 1 times 3 times and this minus sign cancels off okay so you will have positive 3 as the vertex x value now this is a very important one because it is a vertically oriented uh, parabola the axis of symmetry and the vertex will be at the same point the vertex and the axis of symmetry here they have asked us to interpret the meaning of the axis of symmetry right and vertex so vertex is basically the maximum peaking point now here they have told it's a firework height over here h of t is height and t is time. So we need to understand the y axis is basically the height. From the vertex, the x value of vertex, we get the maximum height that the fireworks reaches. Imagine the fireworks go like this and it reaches the maximum that is at the vertex. So the maximum height can be found out by the vertex x value and that vertex basically cuts the parabola into symmetrical parts and this axis of symmetry that's the thing you know axis of symmetry left side and right side are symmetrical that means this is three right imagine a point before that two and over here it will be four after two seconds because time is given after two seconds this is basically t because over here they have told in terms of t two and four seconds the height will be same for the firework Imagine the one at one and next one is five. The height will be the same for the firework. That is what we understand over here. Let's look into the answers. Here we have this. Yes, it's the same equation. Minus 16 t squared plus 96 t plus 2. And here, and here we have to get the vertex form. We can easily get the vertex form from the equation we have done in the previous questions. And here, interpret the axis of symmetry and vertex. So here, it's the same thing. It'll divide into two equal halves, basically. And this is the thing. The maximum value, if you put the vertex back into the equation over here, instead of t, if you put 3, you get 146. That's the maximum height of the firework. Same way over here, we can solve it just like what we did a while ago. Here, it is about diving. Malik is participating in a diving championship. For each of his dives, his height about the water can be modeled by a quadratic function. The diving board is 7.5 meters above. So this H0 is 7.5 above the water and, and Malik jumps with a velocity of 4.18 meters per second. Use G is equal to 9.8. Here, remember, everything is in meters. Therefore, we use acceleration due to gravity also in meter per second squared. So the equation h of t is given as minus half g is 9.8 t squared plus 4.18 t plus 7.5. Now here you can simplify this minus 4.9 t squared plus 4.18 t plus 7.5. This is the answer. Now, you can easily do the vertex form representation, which we have done. You can just compare these both and check which is the vertex form. And here, axis of symmetry and vertex. You can easily use the formula minus b by 2a and get these answers as well. So once you get the x value, if you put it back in the equation, you can find the y value as well. That is the end of all the part one questions. I hope you have found all my videos helpful. If you have found them beneficial, please do share it with your friends and please do subscribe to my channel. That would mean so much to me. And I would highly encourage all of you to solve more and more problems by yourselves. And if you have any doubts, any queries, please do post them in the comments and I'll try to get back to you very, very soon. I wish you all all the best for your exams.
happy learning to all of you.